Okay, so pretty much this is how the story goes. I have issues. Oh, do I ever. I have digestive issues. I have issues. That's my story. I have digestive issues. I've had digestive issues for give or take about five years now. Just over five years now. The last five years have mostly been... Let's experiment! Have a pretty awesome life. But aside from that, I get this incessant question every time I meet someone new who finds out about my digestive issues. How do you eat? But it's a good question. And so this is my attempt to show everyone else in the world how I eat ish, hopefully, and what I eat. And hopefully, this is not going to be a one video thing. This is going to stretch out into a series of videos. We're not so much into what can Paige eat and more into let's experiment. So today, I'm going to start with something really simple that I have no idea if I can eat. Applesauce! Woo! I have in my possession, like any good cooking show, a list. I have my handy dandy little recipe machine. I have all the apples in my possession. I'm not going to try and juggle them right now. <laughs> I have a lemon because it turns out I can eat lemon. Who knew? Because I definitely didn't. I have a cutting board because I'm going to be cutting things. I have a knife to go with that cutting board because let's get down to details here. I've got a measuring cup and I've got a apple peeler. So <laughs> let's start watching me peel apples. Look, I made you a smiley face just for you. And I killed him. Voila, peeled apples. Okay, now I take my handy dandy knife, which, you know, kids don't let me play with this at home. And I do the next exciting thing, which is cutting the apples. Let's make this video efficient. Thing of water. I need about one cup, a little bit more. I'm pretty sure this pot is way too big for the amount of sauce that I want to make. But then I can play a new game. Let's see how many cups of apples I get. One cup. Now I'm actually waiting for this to boil. And you know what helps it boil? Turning it on high. So now I'm waiting for this to boil before I can put the apples in. Steaming, steaming. All upon my stove. It's nice and hot. About to boil, sitting on my stove. Boom. That was a fire. Steaming, steaming, on a steaming coal. When days are hot, when days are cold, and my... So, let's just believe that this is definitely boiling right now. And I am going to take my one cup of apples. And dump it in there without killing myself. And then take all the ones that were too fucking stubborn. These videos are going to have a lot of swearing in them. And I still haven't even hurt myself yet. To stay... In my glass and put those in there. And then I'm gonna cover this. Oh no, no. First I'm gonna take the lemon and do a thing. Cover that. And turn it down to a simmer while I finish cutting up the rest of my apples. So soften it up and lots and lots of tasty, tasty nutrients for Paige. Okay, look, I'm using a spoon as well. And then I just gotta simmer this, apparently, for like 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'll get applesauce. Look what happened. It's been like 15 minutes, give or take. And look, does that not look like delicious mush? 
And when I smush it, it smushes down. Woo! Smushing apples! Yeah! Watching it work! So, two dead batteries and 20 minutes later, I have some beautiful looking, actually, applesauce here. That was legit surprise. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not sorry. But here we are now going to see the ratio of applesauce produced to pot size. Now, now, are we ready for this? Okay, so. Ta-da! I think it's just slightly too big for this bowl. That's actually really good. It's hot. That's really good. Um, uh. All right. Yeah. This was, at very least, a success in terms of taste. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit watery. I probably could have done with a little bit less water. And, eh, who knows? It might still kill me. <laughs> Fuck if I can predict that anymore. Like, no mess. That, that was unexpected. Most unexpected part of this video.